One, go! Another sandstorm sweeps over planet Primus. Three of our Red Alliance machines, all three will be able to get their way out of the habitat. Looks like Blue Alliance will finally be able to match that one. Your live score in the sandstorm currently 15 to 12. Blue Alliance up by three points for having one of those level two drops off the habitat. And that is going to be your final sandstorm score. Drivers now take full control. And already here comes the monster truck rally. Blue Alliance machine of Ambot charging across over towards Apex Robotics. And they're going to be a brick wall and just push them around the side of this Red Alliance cargo ship, making them find another way, slowing these cycles down even further. And now Apex is going to get stuck over on the side of the cargo ship. That is Apex's second event. They had great success in week one at Mount Vernon. And everybody in the district knows it. It's painting a big old target on their back there. That's going to be a lot of defense, I imagine, over the course of the weekend. 28-25, your score. Blue Alliance is up. The game was tied for just a minute there. A minute and a half left to play. Iron Patriots line it up. Another cycle goes through. We saw them absolutely clean up the floor over there on the Red Alliance side earlier. Now they're going to work on doing it for Blue. Three points apiece for these cargo. They're going to clear out this depot in the top right of the field. Maybe. Maybe I jinxed them. You know what? We'll talk about something else. Red Alliance side of the field now. K9 Crusaders back at their Alliance wall. Scooping up one of those hatch panels. Hook and loop tape connected. Now they got to bring it over. And they got to get past this wall of Royal Robotics. It's a lot of pushing and shoving over here. Someone call the parking police here. 25-22 just slams on the brakes right in front of the K-9 Crusaders, slowing that cycle down even more. They're finally able to break three. K-9 Crusaders will try to drop off those two points onto the Red Alliance rocket. Blue Alliance is up by four with a little over half a minute left to play. Chasing round and round and round these, or these cargo ships we go. More cargo on its way, maybe to the Red Alliance cargo ship. That was gonna be a Panther Robotics score attempt there. But Royal Robotics slams them out of the way. That's that shot just off course. And it looks like they're actually going to abandon that last piece of cargo. Red Alliance, one, two, and dot, 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 three. Up on the platform, level one climbs for nine total. What can we do over here on the Blue Alliance side the match? We've got a front flip to make our way to level three. We got a nice smooth drive on up to level two and the iron Patriots. Chilling out on level one. That's going to be a whole lot of endgame habitat climb for that Blue Alliance. We'll get your final scores to, to you in uh, now. Well, okay, match six. Final results. It's a Blue Alliance victory. Your final score and a new high score for the event, 66 to 47. And three rank points to all of those Blue Alliance teams. Two for the win, one for... Definitely exceeding the 15-point habitat climb threshold. That is our highest habitat climb score here so far this weekend at 21. And now that we've got, I think, two matches for almost all the teams here, Aimbot moves up there to the first ranked position on the leaderboard. Not too far behind them, the Iron Patriots. We'll let those averages shake out for a bit before we talk too much about it. Match 7, coming up soon.